Hello guys, so this is a uh, second example in uh, regarding KVL and KCL. In this example we will not uh, go into details regarding numbers, I will just uh, solve it in the most general form. Uh, I mean to show you where the loops are and where the nodes are and what kind of currents you can see. Okay. First things are first, let's determine our nodes. Now we have uh, we have two types of nodes, as you know. There is the node, just a node, like this one, like this one, and like this one. Those are just nodes, and there are ma because they, they connect two elements. While there are major nodes which connect uh, more than two elements, for instance, this one here is a major node this one here is a major node it connects this one this one this one and this one here is a major node and this one here is a major node now the main difference between a major node and the node the fact that between a node uh, on the two uh, terminals of the node there is the same current so the same current that goes from this node enters the node and goes out from the node. It's the same current. While the uh, the major node, you can have different, more than uh, one current entering and leaving. So that's the, the the big issue. Or in other words, if you like, between major nodes there are distinct currents, uh, like the following. So the current from here to this one is different from the current from here to this one or from here to this one as well as from here to this one but the current from this node to this one and from this one to this one is the same so the current that enters is the same as the current that leaves while here the current that enters is not the same exactly it, in, in total it is the same but it can be more than one current that leaves so there is one current here and there is one current here okay I think the idea is clear okay let me clean up a little bit uh, okay now the procedure in general says determine the currents since we have one source it is logical to have a current that goes out from that source call it I1 maybe this I1 reaches this node and it is going to split into I2 and I3 now I2 reaches this node and splits into I4 and I5. I4 and I5 they join back since they are the uh, offspring of I2 they join back and make I2. Of course we can call this I6 but it is I mean eventually I6 will equal I2. So this is I2 practically. Then I2 comes here I3 comes here they are joined to go back and make I1 and this is what what was the result here I1 plus I3 I2 plus I3 equal I1 the, come back here we have I2 and plus plus I3 back to I1 okay so practically from KVL uh, from KCL sorry we have one equation here I2 plus I3 equal I1 and one equation here I4 plus I5 equal I2 and we have five unknowns one two three four five so we need three more equations at least those come from KVL and the KVL loops they can be determined as we wish so we can have this one loop this is one there is another loop here this is two. There is a third loop here. This is three. We can have other types of loops like this one. 
this is loop 4 or this one that's loop 5 or mm, this one starts from here goes like that and comes back like this this is loop 6 so we have five unknowns and we already got ourselves eight equations from six loops and two nodes that's eight equations more much more than we need we tabulate the equations and build up the linear system of equations and solve them and this will, will give us every current i1 i2 i3 i4 and i5 multiply every current by each resistor it passes through we will get the voltage across these resistances and that's the voltages across these resistances and that's our aim in solving such problems i hope this will be useful and gives you some give you some hints uh, please um, try to solve the problem to the end and if you face any problems you can of course uh, contact me in or we can discuss these these things in the class thank you for watching